All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my new camera and just kind of doing like a vlog test. So right now, I'm recording on the Canon T3i, which is a pretty old camera. But um, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to upgrade a bit. But uh, yeah, so I picked up the Fuji X-T4 with the 10-24 to uh, Fujinon lens. I'm going to unbox it and then just give my like first impressions and then we'll test it out a bit. Uh, so here's the lens. I got the Fuji 10-24 uh, f4 and it also comes with optical image stabilization. And uh, yeah, so that's the lens. And then here is the Fuji X-T4. But yeah, so let me just set up the tripod and I'll get to unboxing. Alright, so first I'm going to take a look at the X-T4. Um, so once you open it up, you have the manuals. Um, so hopefully you won't need those, but apparently Fuji's manuals are actually good. Um, and then underneath that, we have the X-T4. Very nice. I'll put that to the side for now. And then we have the accessories. So yeah, let me open this up and see. So we have the charging cable, the brick, and oh, this is the adapter for the brick. So it just yeah, it just slides on there. Um, the headphone adapter cable which connects to the USB-C port because there's no headphone jack built in. Uh, we have the battery which is Fuji's larger battery now. They upgraded which is nice so uh, hopefully that should be good. And the Fujifilm strap which apparently I've heard is pretty good too. But yeah so let's check out the camera now. Um, Alright, so here is the Fuji X-T4. Ooh, alright. It's pretty nice. Surprisingly, surprisingly light. Yeah, surprisingly really light. Um, comes with the flip out screen. Very nice. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, it feels really nice actually. The grip, like it kind of has like a little ridge right here. So you can actually like, it feels like you actually have a lot of grip. But uh, yeah, I love the dials. But anyways, let's uh, check out the lens now. All right, so here is the Fuji 10 to 24 OIS. Um, but yeah, so first we get the case for the lens, which is just a nice, like, little soft case. And then the manual, again. And then we have a lens hood, which is actually pretty nice that it comes included. Um, but yeah, put that back. And then we have the lens here. Yeah. Alright, so it feels really nice, like the build quality is really good. But yeah, so it comes with the optical image stabilization switch. You can turn it off and on right here. This is for aperture um, auto or you can like just manually set it. So they have that switch on here which is kind of nice. But yeah, so let's put it on the camera now. So I actually pre-ordered the camera, but it got stuck in shipping with Canada Post, so it just got delayed like two weeks. So I ended up getting it pretty late in comparison to everyone else. But um, yeah, I mean, at least I got it now. But yeah, so let me go set this up and I will get back to you guys in a second.
All right, guys. So some time has passed by now, and uh, I went to a park with my brother. He's just throwing out a line, seeing what he can catch. Um, but yeah, so we're just chilling here right now. Uh, I'm gonna walk around, kind of test like how the in-body stabilization is, and um, yeah. So pretty much for settings right now, I'm I'm on 24 frames per second, 4K of course, and 400 megabits per second. So. Yeah, it should be looking pretty good right now. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, so I forgot to mention I'm shooting on the Eterna film simulation right now, which is looking pretty nice from the screen. Yeah, so right now I have OIS and the in-body stabilization turned on. So uh, yeah, this is kind of how it is. This is a preview of how it is kind of walking on a gravel path. Let's see right here. But yeah, so hopefully it's looking pretty stable. I know there might be some warping in the background, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. This is also at 14 millimeters right now, which I think is probably like the optimal vlogging range. The lens can go from 10 to 24, obviously. I feel like 10 is a little bit too wide. I'll go to it right now, which is this. Like, I feel like my arm is super warped right now. And also, it's, it just looks kind of weird. I just kind of like having the, the extra flexibility in case I don't want to stretch my arm out too far, or I'm just in like a like in a tight area. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to 14 right now. But yeah, so this is 14 again. But yeah, I think this is probably like the best vlogging lens for the Fuji systems right now. I know a lot of people use the the kit lens, which is surprisingly good. And the 16 to 55, I think it is, f2.8. That one is probably, I was I was going between this one and that one, but uh, I just ended up picking this one for the extra flexibility with the 10 millimeters. If you guys are new to my channel, which I'm assuming most of you are, um, I usually make like film camera related content, so probably this this video is not really for my subscribers right now, but um, yeah, I just picked up this camera, so I just thought I'd make a video on it and kind of like seize the opportunity, because uh, cause it's like a brand new camera. I shoot a bunch of 35mm and medium format 120 film cameras, so um, yeah, if you are into that, you should probably hit subscribe because all my new videos are going to be filmed with the X-T4. We're still here, um, the sun is set now. So it's kind of like, it's getting pretty dark right now. Um, so I just thought I'd test out the low light. Currently I'm at 1600, it's kind of going in between 1600 and 2000 ISO. Um, so hopefully this is looking pretty good right now. Um, I mean, I know the X-T4 isn't like a low light killer like the Sony's are, but hopefully it still looks decent. But yeah, I'm pretty curious to see how all of this footage is gonna turn out. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you have any recommendations on settings if you know Let me know what you guys want to see from the X-T4 because I need some more like video ideas to do with it So if you guys want to see any certain tests or whatever, let me know and I'll try to make them My brother is still fishing. I think he's, he's been getting a lot of bites, but um, Hasn't caught anything yet as soon as he starts reeling in, they just let go, but I don't know, hopefully you get something. Alright guys, so I think we're going to head back to the car now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. Um, as I said before, I make film camera videos usually, so if you want to see those, check out my other videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace, guys.